How's it going, gamers? It is the Maple Warlock. Yes, the Maple Warlock. And welcome back to some more Appalachian Daily Report. The ADR. How y'all doing? I uh, gave the list a little check here earlier, a second ago. And it's uh, not particularly difficult today. Just checking my vending machines here real quick. Make sure they're all well stocked and supplied before we... Uh, blast off. Oh, that one needs a thing. I might do that and edit it out because it's boring watching me do that. And that one always stays empty because it's just easier to put the ammo in that one. Oh, look, we could patio table. Yep. What's a patio table worth? Oh, uh, let's say five caps. So, okay. That was easy. The list today, as I said, pretty good list. We got craft some camera film. You gotta get your camera. I bumped into Ansel, the dead tourist, the other day over at, I think we were at the Miner's Monument. I think. But yeah, he, you know, that's what I say. Check the Miner's Monument. Here, yeah, the Miner's Monument, it's right there. You can check way up here at Linview Lighthouse. It's another good one. Uh, I've heard rumor you could might find them at Colonel Kelly and the field Battlefield Cemetery, but I've, I've seen them at the cemetery, but I guess I never actually go to Colonel Kelly that often. And yeah, you know, look around. Keep your eyes open. They, uh, they be out there. Then get your camera. I think as long as you start the quest, it lets you craft film. Though I'm sure, I'm not 100%, but I think you can craft the film without a camera. Because when you get to your... Tinker bench. It's under, yeah, when you go to craft, the camera should be there to uh, show that you need to fix it, but you need a broken pro snap to fix it, but the camera film should be listed there. Anyway, it's been on there a few times. You guys should know this by now. Not to be a dick, but you know. Craft healing items, you know. Recipes are available through certain events in different regions. Uh, also, they sell them at the White Spring bunker if you have access to that. They're a little pricey, but well worth it because it's always nice to be able to, uh, I don't make a whole lot of chems other than for doing these challenges, but every once in a while, like after say an encrypted event where you have to spam your stim packs to survive the sheep squatch and being a uh, pylon, I, I, I have come back and made myself like big stacks of stim packs because they're pretty cheap and easy to make. Uh, because once upon a time I used the bloodsucker perk so that drinking blood packs is more benefit. So I still have just a lot of blood packs. And you only you don't, to make a blood pack, you just need tick blood and antiseptic, which then the tick blood sacks break down into antiseptic. So just kill a lot of ticks, you can make a lot of blood packs. And then to make stim packs, you just need stim pack, what is it, blood pack and some other stuff. I'm going to check here real quick. Yeah, you just need even more antiseptic and a blood pack and some steel. So, you know, they're cheap to make. I could bash those out right now, but we're busy. And you won't get off the bench. Okay, there we go. Another boring one, too, because I'm just hanging out in my camp. Kill rat ants. Oof. Because you're never going to find them when you want to find them. A good place to check is sometimes they spawn here at the Lucky Hole Mine. They'll be outside. And if you don't see them outside, don't bother checking inside. Because whatever spawns outside of the cave entrance or the mine entrance will be inside the mine. But if there's some rat ants outside of it, go inside and there'll be a whole bunch more inside. So it's a good one for that. A real easy one, uh, well not so easy, but Thunder Mountain substation always has rat ants, but there's also a death claw that spawns there and you gotta be quick because he will kill the rat ants. So then you're, you're, you're kinda gonna race him to wipe them out. So you know, there's that. We got level up well and it's formal wear, power armor, well fed, in PVP, wielding musical instrument, uh, bead and Matoga, wearing unstoppables outfit, the low level ones, you know, be in the ag, the ag center when you're under 10, be over 76, top of the world under 40. Excuse me, that's all of them. I was thinking uh, today I might aim for power armor and well fed, so then I don't have to worry about my formal wear. I just put my power armor on and not take it off, which I usually do anyway. Win and survive matches, too. So, obviously win. Well, if you win, you must have survived. Unless it's, like, you actually have to win, like, your team can win, but you, if you didn't survive... If you get taken out and then your team wins, I think it, it must not count. So it can only be completed. Yep. And take a camera picture at the highest point along the Seneca Rocks Ridge. Which, you know, we've done that a couple times. If you don't know where it is, Seneca Rocks Ridge is here. Which is just called the Seneca Rocks. But there's sort of a trail. Mostly, I don't really know how you're supposed to get up there without uh, the marsupial mutation and a jetpack. Searched around it trying to see if there's a trail to get up there because most everything else in this game There's a way to get to places without having mutations in a jetpack. It just it's tougher But I that that's like one of the few I can't figure out how you're supposed to get up there without that stuff So also because there's another one too like the red rocket station in Flatwoods There's also there's some stuff up on the roof of the uh, red rocket station That there's no way to get on top of that station as near as I can tell unless you have a jetpack Because even marsupial you can't quite jump high enough to get up there 
And yeah, that's it. That's, that's the dailies today, guys. Hope you all have some good luck with those. You know, I know my vi the, these videos are starting to get a little boring because I just do an explanation and we stare at the map for like five minutes. Uh, I'm working on trying to get some more gameplay stuff together. I keep, I, I, I've been having some interesting moments the last few days, just kind of like running around doing different things. But I always forget to turn my recorder on. So I'm thinking I might start maybe a uh, little series because like anytime I try to find weird things to happen, nothing ever happens. And I don't want to just record like, you know, 12 hours of footage that's not going to be worth anything and just take up space on the drives. Anyway, you know, I, I, I'm, I want to try to find some more like just interesting shit that happens. That it's not like planned events or anything. It's just the random, just the randomness of this game. Like interacting with other players sometimes and just weird things that happen. Stuff the spawns will do. Anyway, if, if anything comes of it, I'll, I'll post something. So anyway, again, uh, yeah, good luck with your quest, guys. I've been the Maple Warlock. It's the Maple Warlock with the Daily Report. Be good, don't cheat, and cheers. <laughs>